Hello and welcome to the complete Azure machine learning course. In our previous script, we have seen the script had failed due to the non-existence of a required libraries in the Azure environment. So what do we need to do it now? So first we need to create an environment and then tell the Azure that you are executing the required script which is being given inside the script run config into this particular environment where all the libraries are installed. So how do we do that? So let's start it with creating of an environment, right? So here, uh, if you go up in the first line, you can see that I have created an environment library which is getting imported, right? From the azure.core, azureml.core. So here, I'll just create an environment, create, environment so first of all i'll create an object creating environment right here i'll call it from the contas specifications and mention the yml file which we have given right so our yml file name was env file dot yml from which we have created a local virtual machine environment the same environment we would be using it and deploying it into an azure as well so here env it was env file dot yml then i need to give the file path would be in a directory itself Right, then so here it would be env file dot yml. Right, so here uh, this is the file path which we need to uh, check, and over here, if you see the env file, uh, this would be the path. However, here my virtual environment name is this one, right? So if you go back and see here, I had made a mistake. I need not to give the name of a environment file. Uh, I need to give the name of an environment. So here, this is an environment which we need to create. And the file path of this particular environment is given in this YML file. So once that is done, once that is done, you just need to again call the file which you have created over here. So here, what you need to give, just I'm just copying this for the sake of time wherein we have encapsulated all my codes. So here, uh, if here what we need to do it, we also need to give the environment name. So, come on. so the environment name would be ENV now my azure machine knows that this would be an environment first which needs to be created and once this environment is created under this particular environment i need to execute this train.py right so once that is done we also need to do the same thing over here we need to execute execution equals to my experiment dot submit under the submit i need to give this python configuration right and try to execute this and again we'll see in a portal what will happen here you can see under the experiment because the experiment name is same well previously there was one run now under this run you can see that it would be the run number two right and each run would be having a unique run id so by this you can execute a lot of runs inside the same experiment so in future if i need to track what all the executions you did it, uh, for executing or to come up with a best parameter during training you can just find it out from here right so here uh, currently it is in a preparing stage and uh, after some time it will come into the 
a completed or a running state so we'll see one by one right now my script got completed so let's do the deep drive here it took around one minute and 56 seconds to execute it to create an image to pull the records and everything it took one minute and 56 seconds right but what is an output where i can see an output right if we'll see this training log Oh, this is not a training log uh, the training file which I have created here so I'll just and this yes so here I have given the print statement the print the columns right here and the print the accuracy as well so where I can see all this so We'll go here and go to output plus logs. Go to 70, and here you can see what all the print statement you have given in that file. You can see inside this particular log, right? And here you can see that an accuracy is around 77% using this particular columns, all these columns. Okay. Now, if you'll see what all these different tabs are, so if you have already seen this tab. Uh, the details tab which tells you the status, the property of your executions, the run ID. Here, if you'll give the matrices, so as of now, we have not done it in a subsequent lecture, we will do it. Uh, how to capture our matrices, like we have seen the accuracy 77%, but if we want to capture at a front end, how do we do that? That we will see, right? Here we can see the matrices also. Uh, the images, if you wanted to do certain kind of uh, matplotlib or a visualization, you can just pose this picture over here. This is the child runs. If there is a child executions inside that run, then you can see here. This output plus log, you have already seen it for logging purpose and what are the print statement you have given it. And the most important part is the snapshot. So if you see here what Azure has done it, when you have executed the Python code, it brings all this demo class. So if you see my folder here, if you see my folder here, it took all copy of this folder and place it in the Azure and then encapsulate it in the form of a Docker image. So here it is a CSV file, the pickle file, which has been created, the environment file, the test file and everything, right? So you can also do the changes over here and directly execute from here, correct? Now in the next lecture, we will see how to pass the runtime arg argument in Python as well as if you want to execute the same code into the Azure. So thank you and we'll see in the next lecture. Thanks.